All right, so in this video, we're gonna take a look at a scientific notation question. So we have to write some things in expanded form. Just remember that expanded form means that we're going to get rid of the multiplying by 10 portion or the magnitude portion of each of these terms. Now I've got two examples, one with a negative set of exponents and one with a positive set of exponents. We're gonna see how we deal with each of those two cases. I like to start off by writing down the number first. So I'm gonna write down 2.15. So I'm writing down the value portion of the number. Next, I take a look at the exponent, and it tells me the number of steps that I'm going to take and the direction that I'm going to take. So because this is negative, my direction is actually going to be to the left because this number is going to be smaller. So I'm going to move this decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places to the left which is going to make a significantly smaller number. Now, all of these blank spaces need to be filled with something. Well, because we've just adjusted where in the actual uh, problem uh, the value sits, we're going to add zeros into those locations. And it's always good form when you have a decimal to do the leading zero in front of it. So my answer for this one, and now that I've done the work probably on the side somewhere, I'll just write it out. Zero decimal, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, one, five. The other nice part about uh, scientific notation is, notice that we had six leading zeros there. Because our values only ever have one number in front of the decimal place, when we're moving to the left, the number of leading zeros will always just be one less than your magnitude number. So that's a cool little check. So this is now correctly answered. You don't need to show all this work off the side. If you can jump right to there, you're welcome to do that. Moving to the next one. So again, I'll just do that rough work down here. 6.39, and now I know my number of steps is two, and because there's no sign, it tells me my direction is positive. So positive is gonna make the number larger, and I'll move it two to the right. So this will leave me with a decimal place just after the nine, or a final number of 639. And that's how we can convert from expanded form, or sorry, from scientific notation to expanded form. Cool.